cancer of the stomach? Are you ready for God to burn that cancer out? Man like Reverend Peter Popoff was a very dangerous man. In my estimation, he was a, a real scoundrel because he was taking people's faith in their religion. He was taking away their security. In many cases, he was harming them physically because he was convincing them that they didn't have to go to doctors anymore, that Jesus had healed them. If you've got pills as an act of faith, well, I want you just to throw them out the aisles. Those of you up in the balcony, just throw them over the side. Amen. Throw them over the side. Throw them over the side. So you have Popoff, who's going around a congregation and just seem to be able to hear the voice of God and know all about people, even their addresses. He would call it out, everyone's impressed. Is that John 3784, Archwood Road? God is burning those blood clots out of his veins, out of his arteries. Yes. There it is. So he was doing a mentalism act, it appeared, and we wondered how he got the information. I'm sitting there, and, and, and after some of the emotion had died down in me, Popoff said, I need people to come down to collect money for him. And basically, he had 15 buckets. And I'm supposed to go around the auditorium and collect cash. God is touching that thyroid condition right now. And these people were throwing like five, tens, twenties. Because one of the things Popoff always tells them, whatever you give, you will get back tenfold. So if you put a dollar in, hey, you're going to get ten bucks. You put a hundred bucks in, you're going to get a lot more money back. And these people truly believe this. Here it comes, complete healing. Jesus, you foul spirit of deafness, take your hands off this woman in Jesus' name. Lord, let these ears be open. There it is. And as I get up close, I notice in his ear that there's an earpiece. There's no ear hole. It's a little piece of plastic in there. And I come back to Randy. I says, I think I know what's going on. I said, what's up? He said, he's wearing a hearing aid in his left ear. Now, a man who heals the deaf you wouldn't think would be wearing a hearing aid. Well, how do I sound now? <laughs> no, now? <laughs> At that point, I realized we needed some technical help, so I enlisted uh, the aid of a private investigator named Alec Jason. I dressed as a security guard, complete uniform, badge, shirt, radio, keys, everything. Not a security guard, I just looked like one part of my cover. And I was nervous. I went down a corridor, and that's where I set up my equipment. She was sort of concealed as in bags. So I have my scanner going, and it's looking for new frequencies, anything new that's not there normally. Get ready. Get ready. Praise God. Suddenly, on the scanner, one of the lights came on, saying there's a signal, and the scanner has stopped at that frequency. And I hear what I realize are now footsteps high heel footsteps on a hard surface. How many of you believe it's all right to praise the Lord? And then I hear someone coming closer, closer to the microphone, and the woman's voice said, Hello, Petey. Hello, Petey. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. Yes. They were using a radio frequency. I found it. In the name of Jesus. Jody Dean. Jody Dean. Is it Jody? Jody? Dean, Jody Dean. No, she should be right there on your right side. Here it comes. Okay, she was at 4267 Masterson. 4267 Masterson. I can see the angels of God all around your house. Rosa. Kamir. Is it Kamir? You've been taking a lot of medication. She's there with her son, Kipper. He has a lump in his chest. Wait just a minute. Who's Kipper? He's got a lump in his chest. You want God to melt it right now? Kipper, stand up. God's going to burn that thing out right now. They filled out prayer request forms saying, I have cancer, or I have this problem or that problem. So she's giving that information directly to Popoff, and then he's reciting that information as if he's getting it from God. Martha Sikorsky. Is it Martha? Is it Sikorsky? Weldon Crab. Is it Weldon Crab? Crab? Peggy White. Peggy White? 1305 Solano. 1305 Solano? Turn over to the left. Hallelujah. There you go. But she's had a hysterectomy. She can't take hormones. She's got kidney and eye problems. You want God to touch your kidneys? Now let that out of your old pen. In the name of the Lord. Right now, Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost. Here it comes in. Jesus, devil, back off. Is the bondage is broken? In the name of Jesus. You foul spirit. 
And I said, I'm, I'm getting out of here now. So I packed everything up. I, I turned the equipment off, took my bags, and I walked down the stairs outside into the cool air. My heart's pounding now because I've got the goods. Not only do we have the evidence we needed, we had more than what we needed. We had it. So I went on the Johnny Carson show, and when the revelation came and you heard Mrs. Popoff's voice, Hello, Petey, can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. Johnny suddenly realized what the gimmick was, and he said, Oh! Turns out that God's frequency, I didn't know he used radio, yeah. is 39.170 megahertz, and God is a woman, obviously, and sounds exactly like Popoff's wife, Elizabeth. Has he seen this tape, though? No, he does not know about this until this very moment. I can't imagine what it would be like to maintain a life where your living and your well-being of you and your family depends upon you lying every single day. Well, we did it. We had exposed this man on probably the most popular television show of the day. And he announced bankruptcy shortly after that. Oh, glory to God. Okay, we'll take a break and we'll be right back. Peter Popoff has reached out to hurting people around the world with a prophet's anointing for more than 40 years. He has spoken divine miracles into the lives of thousands of people, perhaps like you, who were facing hopeless situations and needed God's intervention. Peter Popoff wants you to know that God can reverse every negative verdict in your life. You don't have to live a life sentence of lack and defeat. You can be free to enjoy all of God's richest blessings. That's why he wants to send you your free packet of Miracle Spring Water, your point of contact for the miracle you need, now in a larger size. I had been in two car accidents, and the doctors kept saying, well, here, you got to take painkillers. I used your Miracle Spring Water, and it's gone. The banks had told me that I could not get another home. I prayed, I believed, I followed every instruction, and on May 26th, we closed on our dream home. Stop settling on less and reach for God's best. God is a God of more, and now there's more Miracle Spring Water in a new, larger packet. You have sent me the water, and I use it. You told me I was going to get a check for $7,000. Sure enough, I got a check in the mail. It was exactly $7,000. Another check for $4,700 for me to move to New York City. Glory to God. Supernatural wealth transfer. I will send you the miracle spring water. I'll send you the instructions. I'll tell you how to use it to see total victory in every area of your life. Act now. Call the number on your screen today and get your free packet of miracle spring water. Isn't it amazing to see what God is doing? His comeback has been featured in the press and covered critically on major programs like Inside Edition, 2020, and now the Center for Inquiry's own Think Again TV. Through a secret source, CFI was able to obtain four tickets to an invitation-only event in Toronto called Positioning Yourself for the Harvest. Impoverished audience members were asked to contribute $1,000 each to facilitate their debt reduction, while Popoff took in over $23 million last year. We wanted to find out whose financial interests were being served. In order to be as effective as possible, before attending the event, CFI members got some advice from the expert himself, Mr. James Randi. I suggest that as many people as possible who are going to the, uh, to the meeting have uh, voice recorders with them concealed and on at all times because they may be very well approached by uh, usually a pleasant young couple who will uh, begin to question them, oh, have you ever seen uh, Reverend Popoff before? And what are you going to ask them kind of thing? Uh, that's another method that they have of getting information, of course. And How do you think we can go about 
having a more lasting uh, effect w with him since he keeps popping back up. Is there a way to expose him once and for all? I mean, you did such a great job. I'm just at a loss for how we can top that so we so this nonsense can stop. Well, I don't know that you can top it because, uh, as I mentioned before on my website, I believe, uh, after Johnny Carson retired, about every two weeks I'd get a call from him saying he just saw Popoff on TV. How mm -hmm. could this be? We exposed him and such. I had to tell him, John, this is uh, something you have to expect. This is Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. I pray that these devils are backing off. The devil wanted to steal your smile, steal your heart, but he is alive. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Think Again TV was able to take secret camera footage showing Popoff engaging in similar tricks to those used during his 1980s fame. For example, healings were only done for those in the front sections where prayer cards had been carefully distributed and collected and where handlers were able to interact with the audience members before the show. Popov carefully selected those to receive his laying on of hands while anyone appearing harder to manipulate were sent the divine overflow rather than being approached. Divine Brother, I just, you got cancer also. Brother, I'm not, you're going to get the overflow, sister. What the doctors can't do, Dr. Jesus will. You're going to see deliverance and help and strength and victory. Amen. didn't make the cut at all. This man, who looked too sick to appear to be cured, was repeatedly escorted back to his seat after desperately attempting to reach Papa for a miracle. When he sat back down, he was heard saying, they won't let me be healed. Why? Oh Jesus, Lord, touch our brother. Touch his love. Testimonies from audience members combined reports of healings made possible by Popov's own miracle spring water with stories of miraculous family reconciliations as well as spontaneous increases in bank account balances. Hey brother, what happened to you? My two daughters died. You got what? My two daughters died. He got his two daughters back. That's what I mean. And that's after they agreed together? Yeah, my name is Asura. I mean, my daughter. Amen. He wants to come and say thank you because he got his truth up. We give God the glory. We have to thank God for that. Let's just thank him for that. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing. Amen. Did you use the miracle spring water? Yes, I did. Amen. And God gave you a miracle. We thank you for that. Come on up here, brother. Finally, the climax of the evening was Popov's claim that each audience member needed to transfer to him $1,000 to benefit from his divine powers. And I'd like you to take one of these envelopes and put your best seat in tonight. I'll send you some more envelopes. Amen. When I get you back to our headquarters. Amen. 
You're going to put your name and address on here so I can send you more miracle spring water with new instructions. Although Popoff quickly escaped immediately after the show, Think Again TV's host Justin Trottier approached his assistant Lee, asking why they required funds to provide miracles. When Lee's wife responded that Justin was mistaken, Lee told her, Don't even talk to him. He's a lunatic. After a few more words were exchanged, Popoff's organist, who had provided music while Popoff cured the audience, yelled at us, I hope you die of cancer. Peter Popoff's event, Positioning You for Harvest, did indeed result in a bountiful harvest, just not for anybody in the audience. In Jesus' name, Satan, back off!